Marque Centenario in the center of Cartagena, this guy has just come down to say hello. You're having a good time. Adelante. So a boat to that isla. Isla Grande. Here we come. Shuffle on the boat. The lady over there is losing her shit. What a crazy ride on the way to Isla Grande. Poor lady there was scared out of her mind. I think she thought she was going to die. Catching hold of her friend's hand the whole journey and crying. Poor lady. She's taking video now, so I think she might be over it. And we're onwards to more. Cocomoyes Mas Adelante. Fancy spot. It's not my spot though. Cocotella. Look at that. We have arrived in Cocomo. Nice little boat trip. The scared lady is with us as well. Sitting on my swinging chair. These scumbag tourists. Go away, you scumbags! We're in Kokomo, which is on uh, Isla Grande, on the Rosario, or one of the Rosario Islands off of Cartagena. They're playing some decent tunes, actually, my kind of thing. Deep underground vibes with a kind of Afro feel to them. Uh, yes, nice spot. It's between two islands, there's like a channel going through, there's lots of boat traffic. Boat part of the back, here comes one now. Between sort of where we are here and over there, there's a few uh, party boats coming through. Apparently, this is quite a good snorkel spot. Better one around the corner in Piscinita, the little swimming pool. But uh, just check out this guy, he's definitely seen better days. He's a guacamaya, which is a scarlet macaw. It looks like he's been run over by a truck, poor fella. He's lost half his beak. And he's in a pair of terrible state, really. But he's alive, and that's better than being dead. He's been well looked after. He's blind in one eye as well. Poor bugger. He's in a terrible way, look. Hola. Hello. I'm just going to come and maybe not drink and smoke for a couple of days before I go on to Palomino to DJ on Wednesday. Today's Monday. I'm here for two nights. But the mojitos are great, so we can have a mojito or two or three or four. Salud. So 
where the, the lady that was having a terrible time on the boat is now borrowing my mask and uh, she likes to see, she wants to get in, she was pretty keen on borrowing my mask the second we arrived. She doesn't like boats but she likes to see, which is great. And look at all these pajaros, aves, birds, I don't know what kind of birds they are, they look like maybe boobies, <laughs> I'm not saying boobies because of that. Ah, what? Look, straight in there, diving off the side. Yeah, if it weren't for the three little kids, just outside the compound of Kokomo, I would have gone straight into the jungle because they said, no, don't do that. It looks like you can go that way, but go up, do a right, do a right again, and then you sort of come back down on yourself. Yeah, it's a little cute community here. We're in the centre of Isla Grande. Caribbean guys and girls. Cute little houses. In the center of commerce, of Isla Grande. A little supermarket in the bloody middle of nowhere here on the island. It's not very well stocked, but I've got myself some ciggies. And now I'm off to the pizza place opposite. Right, the dude's having fun. There's about 55 empty beer cans sitting by the side of where they were sitting. Right. Hacen comida, pero no sé si estará sí. bien. Hay... Y hay una pizzería en la esquina. Sí, solo, solo pizza. Y hacia acá, callejón que queda hacia acá, hay un restaurante, pero no sé si está bien. Sí, ok, gracias. Okay. The hardest cat in town has been hounded by about four dogs, just sat there in the middle of the street, not giving a single shit. Yeah, this is the centre of Isla Grande. It's very Caribbean, very laid back. And completely surrounded by water. And so is Luis. Luis or Luis? Luis. 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 We're here in the centre. He's telling me about Playa Libre. Sí. Go to the other side of the island. It's about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. I say that's a... Calinda, comida, comida, playa. Hola. The epitome of island life. It's just before I started filming, Luis, Luis was telling me about una poca, which I think must mean one mouth. To the restaurant just a bit further down from that little shop. I'm gonna go and check that out because the only other option that I can see so far is pizza. And I don't fancy pizza. Well I think I know what I'm doing tomorrow. The guys at Kokomo said when I arrived, well about 10 minutes after I arrived, well, that I'd like to go fishing with them in the morning. I haven't spoken to them since I had a few beers, a few Cuba Libres, fell asleep and went and crashed out on the bed with the fan on. When the fan goes off, the electricity was stopping and starting. It is hot. It is very hot. Um, but here in this little centre, the electricity seems to be running all the time. I asked the lady here for the plate of the day, what did they do? And they got this um, kind of mariscos rice thing going on, I can't remember. She called it, I'll ask her when she gets back. Well, yeah, fishing in Playa Libre. I heard that they do, not they do, God does bioluminescence in the area. Um, so I need to find out about that as well. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of this lovely little restaurant. First of all, we're gonna go straight out the window. <laughs> I forget the name, but it's full of mariscos, seafood, rice and your classic pet patacon <laughs> patacon forget about patacon contador 
This is arroz con todo. Yeah, it's the best Caribbean food I've had so far. It's a beautiful little restaurant here. What is your name? Joana. Joana? Yes. Joana. Joana is la cocinera de... What is the name of this place? De Juan Mao. Como? Otra vez? Juan Mao. Juan Mao. It's in El Corazon de Isla Grande? Mm-hmm. Si. She's the cook. The best cook. El mejor cook de la Isla Grande. Um, tal vez Colombia también. <laughs> <laughs> The plate of food was huge and it's like a paella, like a mountain, montaña de paella, instead of in a flat plate. It's incredible. Uh, yeah, like I said, with uh, muchos mariscos, octopus, squid, clam, prawns, camarones, those curly things, whatever you want to call them. Get here. You heard it here from the chef, la cocinera. It's right in the middle of Lisa Grandley. Look on your map. You won't see any tracks to get here. You just have to follow your nose. Here's the deal. You can't see a great deal there, but that is a track through the woods in the dark with a very, very occasional light. I'm in the middle of bloody Isla Grande, which is miles away from the coast, about an hour on the boat in the dark I don't think my post office insurance is going to make a big difference if anything happens to me here but I don't feel at all threatened by anybody I feel completely safe this is Colombia it's been getting a bad rap over the years but there's no reason to be scared of coming here no, it's completely pitch black so I'm going to stick on the light on my phone as if that makes any difference. Obviously upset a few dogs on the way down the track. Not as scary as the one in the waterfalls. We've just arrived back in the compound of Kokomo. If you can see much of what's going on here, but it's pretty smart. Very cool spot. We had to take a picture. You can take pictures or film. Estamos filmando. Hola. 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 Con la luz. Cocomo. Estamos en Cocomo. Vamos a empinarnos. En foto. Hola. It's six thirty in the morning. We're gonna go fishing. The crew from Cocomo. dangerous journey. That little, uh, little bit of track between Kokomo and this sort of track that takes you into the little town. Man, I got hammered by mosquitoes. So that's just an idea of what's to come. Because the guy said, oh, if you're going to walk to Apply Libre, it's about a 40 minute walk. I'm in the town. I've not got any mosquitoes on me at the moment. But in the distance over there, that's where I'm heading. This is like the last little bit of habitation 
for 30 minutes before you get to Playa Libre. So I've been moving very quickly. I've just finished off my spray and uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm concerned. You don't look very old. Hey. Very impressed with it. I've been raking up the rubbish in the pathway. The place is coming alive. The people all say hello, good morning, buenos dias. Very laid back Caribbean style. Buenos dias. This chap just singing to himself, running along on his bike. This Extremely well camped, beautiful little place. Look at all those midges. About a head deep into the jungle. Well, not the jungle, more La Bosca, the woods, where we're gonna uh, come across muchos mosquitos. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Yeah, everybody seems extremely happy. Now in the cloud, they're swarmed around me. Absolutely devastating. Buzzing in my ear. Bzzz. It's fucking the joke. Basically, mosquito heaven. Look at that. The stink, stagnant, swampy mangrove badness. But weirdly, I'm not surrounded by mosquitoes. In este momento. Let my hair down because it's going to protect the back of my neck and maybe some of my shoulders. Beautiful place. Got a new friend. He has got a mountain of mozzies around him as well. Look at that. Can you see that? Look. This is what I'm saying. Jesus Christ. Yeah, me boy. <sighs> On to the next crowd. What you got to do when they congregate like they are now, is just go for a quick. 50 meter sprint, lose that crowd, find another crowd. So we're coming out onto a pretty main track. Los Corrales del Rosario y de San Bernardo. Yeah, I'm not going to go in there just yet. Okay, which way? Hmm. She said derecho, which means just continue straight. Definitely don't think I'm going in the right direction now. I'm on the south coast for sure, but this looks a little bit random. No way through there. Yeah, this is wrong. I've upset that dog, and in the process, lost my uh, ability to look after my mosquito problem. And there was a huge one on the end of my thumb. The old lady earlier on sent me down a track going that way. I landed up on the map looking like I was at the end of the island. Now I'm back in the centre going backtracking. So I've done at least 20 to 30 minutes in the jungle getting bitten to fuck more than I needed to. And that kind gentleman with his cart ahead told me, Por aquí, when I stood here. So this is literally the entrance from within the island to Playa Libre. <laughs> it doesn't exactly help one out. I'm not impressed. I'm at this luxury resort. They don't have any food. I asked for a cafe. Oh, you see, I cafe down there. You've got any cups? Yeah, they're, they're there. Give me a cup. With boiling water and um, 
instant coffee. We're in Colombia, instant coffee. This is not good. This is supposed to be a luxury resort. And I'm dying. Luxury beach club. Let's try this place out. Sol y Papaya. Might be a little bit more helpful. I'm glad I made it to the beach. This is quite a nice spot. It's very tranquil. It's got a couple of jetties that stick out. The sea looks pretty blue. The beach is quite small. There's a little uh, place sticking out. Not sticking out. It's separate from the island. But I looked on the map and it looks a bit like La Piscina, but that's not. There's another little bar further on out in the sea, just completely separate from the land um, called La Piscina. And people have been telling me about La Piscinita, which is an area good for snorkeling, so I'm assuming it's near there. And uh, so let's go. Playa Libre. I thought we might be a little bit more developed than this. <coughs> Out the mosquitoes, the sand looks pretty white. Not too bad, not too bad at all. The sand looks nice and soft. Hola, buen día. Este barco es tuyo. ¿Cuánto cuesta para la piscina? El bar, la piscina. Hola. Bit of a strange bunch here at Sol y Papaya. I mean, it's a beautiful spot, actually. The beach is clean. It's not very big but it's pretty beautiful, spinning you around. That's the other way. And just up there, there's a girl, she's quite young, she's done up to the nines, but she's got a face like a slapped bottom. And uh, no, don't have any change, sorry. Okay, well, I've only got 50,000, so uh, I have to return later on, which I probably won't because this is very difficult to get to. And I'm not going to be prepared to get munched by a million mosquitoes yet again. Uh, so yeah, let's go and find the piscina bar, which is around that corner there, and out into the sea. Nothing like a bit of angle grinding to ruin the serenity. Getting a bit mugged off here. The guys were discussing amongst themselves. I said, no, 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 no. Give me the Colombian price. I'm not stupid. I went down from 70 to 40, and it's still eight pounds and a little bait boat around the corner, which is five or 10 minutes away. Boat from Cartagena was 60, and that was an hour's journey across the ocean. So let's, let's not mess about, huh? And as if by magic, the guy turned up at the little pier that I'm sitting on here, and he said he's off to pick up a couple of chicos and he'll be back in 10 or 15 minutes, and they're off snorkeling, and the price is 60. And he said he'd drop me off at the, the bar and we can go snorkeling. So, so like a, instead of just getting the boat for 40 from those guys, which I turn my nose up at. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a little snorkeling trip and hopefully go to the bar and then get myself to Kokomo afterwards. But I definitely need some, some breakfast of some kind. My friend. Hasta luego, Jose. Hasta luego. ¿Está bien aquí? No, acá. Okay. Si. No forget it for me, eh? I don't forget about you, man. No forget it. <laughs> don't forget about Jose. We're off to the Pacific. 
para Inglaterra. Vamos. Amigo Chris. Ya, amigo. Es lo bueno. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, I found this chap. We're off to the piscina. As soon as I mentioned the bad dropping me off at Cocomo, it's a. This way now, this is nasty near all. He's a snorkeling guy. He's got a snorkel. I've got a mask. Maybe we can do a deal. I'm here with Joaquin. He's he's the actual boss of La Piscinita or La Piscina Bar. The guy over there that told me that Jason was the boss, he was completely wrong. Jason actually works in Kokomo. <laughs> and this is Joaquin. It's his, it's his bar. Él es el jefe de aquí. And the guy who took me here on the boat, yeah, like Joaquin said, he robs me pretty much. 50 is muy cara para aquí and uh, he wouldn't be bothered to take me around a Kokomo, so I've been a pretty month off, unfortunately. But it's beautiful, it is beautiful. But the place is actually shut today, so we don't have any food, we don't have any beverages. So we'll have to climb into the sea with an empty stomach and see what we can see. Vamos a ver. Uh, yeah, not that impressed, I must say, with the grande. I like the uh, the inside, but the outside, the fringes, the shoreline, not so much. Back at Joanna's place, nowhere is doing breakfast at the moment, so I'm going for the Lomo de Res, which is Served up a storm again. Ah, muy bien. around with the local girl. Come with me, What is your name? Mucho gusto, soy Chris. Ground. I mean, this is a cool little spot here. We have in uh, Isla Grande. It's well laid back. And the people seem very nice. Joanna just served me up another delicious plate of food without her. I don't know what I'd do. But uh, we're going to go and check out some bioluminescence later on. The guy at Kokomo reckoned it's a good day. So for 40,000, it's about eight pounds, which is less than what I paid for earlier on for a five minute boat journey. He's gonna take me on a 20 minute boat journey to the spot where it happens. I'll spend about 40 minutes there swimming around. Hopefully we'll see something. Before that, we're gonna go fishing. Let's see what that's all about. Hopefully we'll see some, some sizable animals under the surface, maybe some tiburones, fingers crossed, they're sharks, 
Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get myself equipped for that. Lie down for a couple of hours. Take it easy. And tomorrow, I think about midday, the boat takes us back to the mainland at Cartagena. I'm going to jump straight on a bus, get myself to Santa Marta. Hopefully, it's a good bus. And then from Santa Marta, immediately change and get my ass to Palomino for tomorrow night's gig on the beach. Starts about 10 o'clock, ends about 3. I think I'm going, not back to back, but one hour on, one hour off with another chap. I haven't heard from Tanya yet, who's the uh, El Jefa there, working alongside Antonio, <coughs> who I did a bit of music for uh, a little while back. And he said, yeah, great, come back. We'll have you play, do the main set. So that's what it's all about. And then from there, up to El Rio Hostel, I tried to pay for it early on, didn't think it went through, but then I saw on my email that it did go through, so they do some parties up there, and hopefully getting, what us get, get a bit involved in that hostel, which apparently is a bit of a spot, up in the sort of jungle, away from the beach, uh, by the side of a river, and uh, yeah, I've been emailing a guy called Ben, I haven't had much interaction with him. But a couple of girls that I met down there from Scotland said they blagged their way on the decks there, or they were going to. And so hopefully I'll do the same. And then from there, back to Santa Marta to spin in a brisa for the house sessions with Dunfoundry. Foundry. It's going to be a busy week. A cup of tea? A cup of tea? Tasa de tea? Tea? No, no. no. Tienes agua? Si. Sí. Por favor. Una botella grande. Maybe she's speaking to me in English. I speak English. You speak English very good. I'm in my life. I don't, don't have to hear sí. nothing. Well, I need to see to a novia de Colombia. Oh, really? Well, well. Do you have one more grand or just one? I beat. Pero or, caliente. Or, or two. Two of those. Yes. Two. That was Miley's at the little shop from Venezuela. Looking for a boyfriend. I don't think I'm her type though. Miss out. So are you. One, two, one, two, two, three. I'm the MC called Ice T. This is DJ Eva Lee. Islam creates the beat. You girls look so sexy. I wish you were up here with me. You drive me crazy with the big old butts, girls. Let's get butt naked tonight. It's of the Ice T Power album, of the late 80s, in case you were wondering. So many different lanes going off into the jungle. I don't know which one to choose. I don't know. Go, go more. Ah, por acá, no por aquí. Okay, fair enough. Doesn't matter which way you're going to go, I'm going to get eaten by mosquitoes. De verdad. Thanks for the tip. So a lot of these places are off the grid. They have to have a generator. And the obligatory Perros Bravos, I'm sure you're going to come across them in a second. Oh, row, 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 row. So far, so good. 